Hey, it's Steve. This is Creature Feature. I'm at Plymouth at the Bearology Center with Tom Harrison. What's going on, Tom? Welcome to Plymouth Barolina, where traffic ends and adventure begins. Where traffic ends and adventure begins. Yes. So did you dub Plymouth that? Yes, we actually copy copyrighted that uh, trademark. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. so tell us about that. Well, we copyrighted Barolina, uh, and part of that comes from we created the North Carolina Black Bear Festival here in 2015 mm -hmm. and we wanted to be able to educate people about these magnificent yes. animals in this North Carolina superlative more than just one weekend out of the year. Yeah. So one of the things we created was this uh, Bearology Black Bear Museum mm -hmm. uh, so that people could come and learn about these uh, fascinating animals and uh, part of that story is uh, creating the tagline where traffic ends and adventure begins and Barolina uh, as a kind of a, a marketing term that we can designate for this area. I've never met well. anyone that's a black bear expert who spent most of their time outdoors. So tell us the story behind like your passion. Sure. Well, first of all, I'm not a con credentialed expert, but I am somewhat of a field expert. I've seen mm -hmm. thousands of bears here in eastern North Carolina as well as elsewhere. And uh, for the last 20, 30 years, I guess 30 years now, I've been going out and photographing and videoing and learning about these bears uh, here on the Albemarle Peninsula, where according to our state black bear biologist, Colleen Offenbuttle, mm -hmm. we have the highest black bear concentration of anywhere in the world. Oh, wow. So okay. we, have the, we have the highest bear densities and we have the world's largest black bears here because of the prevalence of uh, high protein crops that are grown yeah. here in the breadbasket of North Carolina as well as you know the wildlife refuges and the private forest and it's just the uh, perfect habitat uh, for these bears and they, yeah. they grow big and there's lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of bears and I yeah. never came across a bear in person. Yeah. One of the things we do here at, at our Bearology Museum is we do a lot of myth busting mm -hmm. and black bears a lot of people uh, have a fear of them in reality that there is uh, really nothing to be afraid of. They have a prey mentality mm -hmm. instead of a predator mentality. So their first instinct when they see a human is to run the other way. We are not on the menu and okay. they don't want anything to do with us. So Pooh Bear is safe. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. So yep. do bears eat honey? Uh, that's an interesting question. They do eat honey, but Disney would have us believe that they love honey. I mean, Winnie the Pooh, come on. Right. But, you know, <laughs> the truth is they're really not after the honey. They're after the bees themselves and the larva. What do people learn with this educational film right behind us? Oh, they get to hopefully get inspired and uh, to get out and, and see these bears for themselves in person. And again, we do some myth, myth busting as well. That's always fun. And we hope that people are going to uh, leave here with a lot greater knowledge and information about these bears and uh, will appreciate them and this great North Carolina superlative that we have. So Tom, we have covered a lot of bear facts. <laughs> Yes. And I feel so just amazed, like, and just enlightened today. Like, thank you so much. Well, it's been a lot of fun having you. It's, <laughs> that's one of the joys of spreading the news uh, about mm -hmm. these bears is people enjoy it, and uh, we enjoy sharing that. This is Creature Feature. Till next time on Hello ENC.